in our rosary today is the sixth Sunday in ordinary time. The saint today is Saint Theriel and Matthias and Saint Valentine. We begin our rosary in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, was buried. He descended to hell on the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there you shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the life everlasting. Amen. For our faith, hope, charity, our Holy Father, Pope Francis, the holy souls in purgatory, for the right to life from conception of natural death, for the sick and dying, and for your special intentions. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the day of daily bread and forgive us our transgressions, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead us soul into heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection of our Lord Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary. Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead us so into heaven, especially those who are most need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord Jesus into heaven. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <coughs> In the beginning is now, never shall be, world well without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead our soul into heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Holy Spirit. Blessed Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Holy Spirit. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Holy Spirit. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Holy Spirit. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead our souls into heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Mary to heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. As he was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead our souls into heaven, especially those in need of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation. The crowning of Mary as the Queen of heaven and earth. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the beginning is now, never shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead our souls into heaven, especially those who most need thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, for banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sights, mourning and weeping this valley of tears. Turn thy most gracious abate, your eyes of mercy towards us, and after these our exile. Show unto us the blessed fruits of your dying Jesus, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of God. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant me this seated be, that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary, the blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The memory. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never what is known, that anyone who flies to thy protection, implore thy help, O sought thy intercession, was left it unaided to fly with his confidence. I fly to you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To you do I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despite not my petition, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, most sacred heart of Jesus, most sacred heart of Jesus, Mary the Queen of the Holy Rosary, Saint Joseph, Saint Cyril and Medallias, Saint, Saint Valentine, Saint Anna, Saint Faustina. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Good morning. We welcome you to St. Anne Catholic Church and especially to any visitors or newcomers to our parish. We welcome you to our community. Today is the sixth Sunday in Ordinary Time. The announcement for this week are CCD classes have resumed. Every Thursday, there is a holy hour from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m., followed by silent Eucharistic adoration from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Please join us for prayer and quiet meditation for the Blessed Sacrament. Please take home a bulletin for more information. The Mass today has been celebrated by Father Tuin. In today's reading, we learn the following lesson. Jesus manifests the powerful, healing love of God by curing the leper who was forced to live under severe restrictions by Jewish legislation. He turned to the he turned to Jesus in his need and was filled with joy. We are called to imitate the healing and compassionate Jesus. Please join me praying the St. Michael prayer. This prayer has been said for the right to life as taught by our Catholic faith. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the weakness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of soul. Amen. Just a reminder to turn off all cell phones during Mass. Now please rise, take a moment to greet your fellow parishioners. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, read them. Amen. The peace of our Lord be with you, them. And with your spirit. Happy Valentine's Day to each one of you, and I also ask you on this Valentine's Day, please pray for all those couples who have challenge in their marriage, and also pray for those who are looking for their loved one so they can fire today, even snowing and storming and difficult. And so also we enter into the sixth Sunday of ordinary time. We heard that Jesus healed the leprosy and gave him free so he can join the community and find love and all of us to so so distancing and difficult keep us away and distant and not connect with the community, we ask God for mercy as we say, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth.
By your grace, as to become a dwelling pleasing to you, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, right? God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, if someone has on his skin a scab or pustule or blotch, which appears to be the sore of leprosy, he shall be brought to Aaron the priest or to one of the priests among his descendants. If the man is leprous and unclean, the priest shall declare him unclean by reason of the sore on his head. The one who bears the sore of leprosy shall keep his garments rent and his head bare and shall muffle his beard. He shall cry out, unclean, unclean. As long as the sore is on him, he shall declare himself clean, unclean, since he is in fact unclean. He shall dwell apart, making his abode outside the camp. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. I turn, I turn to, to you, Lord, Lord in, in time, time of trouble, trouble and you, you fill me, me with, with the joy of salvation. of salvation. Blessed is he whose fault is taken away, whose sin is covered. Blessed the man to whom the Lord imputes no guilt, in whose spirit there is no guile. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. Then I acknowledged my sin to you, my guilt I covered not. I said, I confess my faults to the Lord, and you took away the guilt of my sin. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you just. Exalt, all you upright of heart. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, brothers and sisters. Whether you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. Avoid giving offense, whether to the Jews or Greeks or the church of God, just as I try to please everyone in every way, not seeking my own benefit, but that of the many, that they may be saved. Be imitators of me, as I am of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. A leper came to Jesus and kneeling down, begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Move with pity. He stretched out his hand, touched him, and said to him, I do will it be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately, and he was made clean. Then, warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. He said to him, See that you tell no one anything but go, so yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed, that will be proof for their mom. Then the man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spreads the report aboard so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in desert place, and people kept coming to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We enter into the sixth Sunday of Ordinary Time, the scripture reading today, and through that, and let us know how much loving God and merciful God and the one who willing to heal us, willing to touch us, willing to do anything that to help us so we can be whole again because we was created in his own image. First reading we heard today, Moses and Aaron in the book of Leviticus, and the Lord that to call upon the people who live in the community, protect the community, and also those who get disease like leprosy, they unclean and they have to follow the guideline and the law that they cannot be in the normal community. Wherever they go, they have to announce and let people know, I'm unclean, away from me. I'm unclean, away from me, away from me. So how hard for those people get sick and fell that way. And yes, we also know that they understand, they also respect the community. And yet, their life, that is difficult. And yet today, we heard in the Gospel of Mark, Jesus come, and this leprosy came to him, and just not even have a gut say, please help me, please help me. If we in effortly way of in need, we probably ask and begging like that. But this leprosy, if you hear the story, he come to Jesus, beg him, but also hear the word, what the leprosy say. If you wish, you can make me clean. If you wish, you can make me clean. Of course, Jesus with mercy and with loving and with caring. Of course, he says, you know, move with pity. He stretched out his hand, touched him, and say to him, I do will it be my clean. So 
the leprosy have very strong faith. The strong faith in Jesus and say if Jesus goes and yet with his intention, his leprosy will be gone. So on the Valentine Day, many couple who also celebrate their love, if they are willing to leave their vocation in the way of faith with one another, they themselves heal one another and bring the joy in their family, their vocation. If they not willing to forgive, they not willing to work on their fall and not willing to reconcile quite of the challenge. I'm sharing with you here because I ask you to pray for those couples. They need to have faith not only in Jesus, but in themselves. And so we also pray that for those who are looking for their loved one today on this Valentine's Day. We also ask God to help those people who are physically, emotionally, and spiritually are sick and away from the community. And if Jesus also wished and wanting to touch them, may they also open their heart, allow Jesus to touch them, and allow that to come and join the community again. So trust in God's love, and also I invite you, please stand up. Together, we profess our faith. Have faith in the Creator. Have faith in Jesus. Have faith in the Holy Spirit who guides us as we say, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. Of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, Born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him and all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered there, was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us offer our prayer to God, the giver of life, in the name of Jesus, the healer and restorer of life. As we say. For all who lead the church, that they find new strength in fervent prayer and cheerful service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the people of our country, that they may turn to the Lord in times of trouble and despair, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those who suffer evil and injustice, that they find deliverance and peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the sick, that they be restored to health, and for their caregivers, that they be sustained by faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the people of this parish, that we trust in Jesus' desire and power to cleanse our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all those who have died, especially Rob Rigaki, that they may enjoy the fullness of God's heavenly glory, let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, and hear our prayer. We offer now our personal intentions. For these and all the prayers entered in our book of prayer and those that are held in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. Hear our prayers, O God, for all the family of humankind means our broken relationship with one another. Help us of the leprosy of selfishness and injustice. Make us clean and whole in your love and compassion. We also pray for all those who traveling during this no storm and also for all those who are sick, those who are dying, and those family who lost their loved one, and help us to enter into the season of repentance for Lenten journey with the catechumen, and also for the candidates who join the church for full communion. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray now that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of our holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us and make it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you make all things, whom you send as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and bones of the Virgin fulfilling your will and gaining for you, O holy people. He stretched out his hands at the end of red heat passion so as to break the bones of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are in this holy, O Lord, the fonts of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray 
by sending down your spirits upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and flesh of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his person, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread through all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with fences, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That's with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the age. We may merit to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is your forever and ever. Amen. At the same time, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our day that 
by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer his offer the sign of peace and love. Of God, you take you away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy Eucharist. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live through Christ our Lord. Amen. As you know that the Vietnamese celebrate their New Year for the first day, they pray for peace yesterday, second day of the New Year, pray for and honor the ancestor parent and, and you know, grandparent, and today pray for the job, and then also uh, all kind of things like that. And so you see up in the altar, they have the sticky case, I mean uh, rice case, and then different flower for the New Year. And also the blessing for the New Year that the drawing on that little table there, it bilingual, so it's the blessing of the New Year. So it quotes different quotation from the scripture. So you are welcome to get the blessing that uh, pick up the roll paper there uh, to go home today. And then also you want to take the picture of the flower or whatever, please do welcome to uh, do that, enjoy the culture that, um, that the bilingual. So take the roll and the, the gift home that the blessing and you can post that in your family and it's the scripture and each one of us can get one please when before you uh, go home today uh, we have the lantern coming up and so we also have mass on us wednesday that 8 a.m here and 5 p.m and 7 p.m and during the lantern uh, season we have the station of the cross and then all the things so please join us with this season if you able to join us so the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen go in peace and serve the lord thanks be to god, god.